Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to share with you all how I cleared AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. I took this certification uh, in the month of May 2025 uh, and I scored around 807. Um, so I'm just gonna attach a screenshot of the certificate. And so today I'm just gonna share all the resources and tips uh, I used to clear this exam in 15 days. So let's get right Who to it. Who is this exam for? Starting from college student to any IT professional can appear for the exam. Anyone who is curious about cloud uh, or want to understand all the tools and softwares that is available and provided by AWS. And you, the best part is you absolutely do not need any prior experience or practical knowledge on AWS to appear for this exam as this is a fundamental exam. So Skill Builder was my primary source of resource. I created my own notes to retain all the concepts that I learned from Skill Builder and I took Cloud Practitioner course from there. Uh, so they have pretty much everything in, de in detail that you require to clear the uh, exam. Uh, and there is also a practice test that is there at the end of this exam, which is really good to understand how well you have learned these ex uh, concepts, right? Coming to practice tests, uh, I use, there are a lot of free resources, especially in YouTube. Uh, I followed uh, a channel called as uh, Digital Cloud, if I am able to remember right. Of course, I'm going to tag all those people in the description below. Uh, so he had covered pretty much all the questions uh, from all the topics that are there in the uh, syllabus of Cloud Practitioner exam. And that like that was the best resource that I I had used. Of course, there are a lot of practice tests in W3 schools and um, other places and I had no time to cover all those practice tests. So I wanted one single place where I could find a lot of co cover all the concepts and uh, sort of uh, get a confidence that I can appear for the exam because I started taking practice tests only when it there was like one day left to the exam. One more website that I followed was kananirav.com. I will leave the link below in the description box. Um, that was very helpful as well. So in Skill Builder, what happened was they did not cover much about the new AI stuff and uh, machine learning tools that are there in the AWS. Uh, so I had not practiced any questions and I did not know much about those topics uh, uh, in the AWS before taking the practice test. So you guys practice tests are really, really helpful and it gives you a lot of confidence before appearing for the real exam. Coming to the D-Day, uh, I faced a lot of issues. So I just quickly share my story what happened. So I stay in Bangalore and it was raining cats and dogs here and I was not getting proper network. My Wi-Fi was dropping a lot. Uh, I had scheduled for 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. slot and um, I was just not able to verify my documents and almost three to four times my proctors got changed and I was panicking a lot. So tip number one for your D-Day is that have really, really good network connection. Uh, so if not, keep your hotspot handy. Uh, also, one more thing that I got to know is it is okay even if your time slots and the exam has not begun yet because in my case, the uh, my time slot had already started but the exam was couldn't start because my documents weren't verified yet 
because of the network issues uh, but then proctor told me that the exam will stay will still be there for one hour and i do not need to panic because i will get full one hour to give the exam tip number 2 is clear your table do not have anything on your table uh, excluding the laptop which you use to give the exam Uh, so i had this desktop uh, which was not allowed to keep but uh, the proctor asked me to turn the desktop towards the wall also keep your ids handy um, anything that you are using to verify your uh, self uh, for the exam my third tip would be do not panic at any cost because it's going to ruin your mind and it did with me um and you have practiced well so you will do well right so trust in the process i guess so yeah you will get through it and you will give your exam and you will pass with flying colors right so to wrap it all up if you are someone who is planning to take up the certifications please go ahead and do it it's not that complicated you can do it uh and there are plenty of free resources available online do check it out i will leave some in the description box and do not forget to take few practice tests at least two to three uh that is what helped me pass this exam if you find this video helpful please support me by subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for the next videos thank you bye bye